Welcome fellow Scorpios to Robin's Realm Readings, Tarot Readings. I wanted to, to connect with you. I actually did a reading for you yesterday. It's been a while because I've been sick and I'm better now. But I did a reading for you yesterday and I swear to God, I get in all the good stuff. And these turd birds come out here. And they're weed eating outside my window and lawnmowers everywhere. I'm like, could you even be more obnoxious? This is Scorpio's reading. How dare you? So welcome, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, my beautifuls, my sexy wonderfuls. I just sanctified your reading with sacred anointing oil spray and myself as well to be able to read your love and energy reading Scorpio Sun Moon Rising Venus this is for you it is from now until whenever in June I'm being divinely guided to read when I read when I can read so that I'm in the highest energy for you you don't want someone that is not prepared to tap into you and your universal over soul conscious energy right uh, I have a stellium in Scorpio, so I'm a strong Scorpio with you guys. I love you. I keep an eye on you. I know what you're going through, okay? I want to send you a great, incredible mercy, love. The, the, I'm sending you hope, Scorpio, that you can get through any of this shit and be on top. Like, right, on the top of your game. You deserve it. You find, You need some love. You need love. I'm hoping you get some beautiful love. Setting the table with Reiki right now because I love my Scorpios. I'm going to start with a different kind of a sound this time. Calling in the angels and guides. Bear with me a minute. Mm. Calling in the guides to read for Scorpio's love. <laughs> Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus people in their love life, understanding what we're reading and bringing it forth for them, and making sure that it is according to God's will. So Michael, come in and help me to read for my beautiful Scorpios. start with guidance. I know you want to look at love and romance. Don't worry. We're going to get it Scorpio. Okay? But you guys are the transformers of the Zodiac. Okay? You can take love and make it into a whole new experience for someone. So vital. So important to their well-being. And very much, whether you know this or not, many of you are twin flames. But a lot of you are in these karmic settings because you are the transformers. You are the tower. You are death. You are resurrection. You are the truth, the ancient souls. You are the carriers of many, 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 many uh, transitional like portal openers. Okay, Scorpio. So you're nobody to toy with. And when someone fucks with you in law, please forgive my language, but that's me. Going to be raw because of the mistreatment, of the disrespect, of a, a freaking high priestess energy. How dare you? Is what I say to them people that fuck with you. How dare you? Okay, you've been warned. If you're a cross watcher and you have deliberately dissed or hurt a good Scorpio and you know it, I'm sorry, but yeah, things happen and you just have to deal with them. Now, Scorpio, this is about you making good decisions for yourself, your future, your energy, your love, and possibilities. So when I'm reading this for you, I'm going to tell you right here and now, I've watched this shit forever. The X, 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 the X. Let's get rid of the X that is not coming towards you, not communicating. Let's read for them and then pull them aside and get into new love for you, Scorpio. We want that powerful new love, that, that, that passion that's coming your way because you contain passion like no Buddy's business. I love you. Love you. 
So before we start reading, I'm going to take a look at your guidance. Let's take a look. Let's pull some guidance cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please welcome back in. If you're coming back, you know I dig you guys. You know I love you with all my heart. You know I do. Been a couple years of like this rattling off opinions, and then the cards speak to you. And that is where you draw your truths or what doesn't resonate. You let it go because it's intended for someone else. You are welcome here, Cross Watchers. And when the cards fall out and the messages come out, they're tapping into universal consciousness of Scorpio, the power of Scorpio. You have tapped into Scorpio. You have to take whatever comes, and then you need to make your decisions likewise. If a Scorpio is hesitant to pull back and you're dating them and you don't know why they're not speaking to you, maybe you said something that was reminiscent that injured them in the past. And so Scorpio will retreat and think about it a while. They'll put all these emotions together because they are, they rule the I feel. Scorpios are the feelers of the zodiac, right? And they also rule the uh, region of the body, which is the generation region, which is the birthing center, the sacral, the sexual energy. Not somebody to mess with as far as a real long-term relationship may be concerned. All right? I speak for all Scorpios here, and I hope you're all right with that. You're being guided by the sacred vision. What is happening with you, Scorps? You need to choose to forgive in order to heal. This is a vision for you to see the light in all not just the dark, just because they showed you dark, right? Because you definitely saw dark. You've seen more dark than most people, Scorps. Remember that love has no boundaries. So there's something going on within you about learning that lesson. May that sink in and, and be uh, a great blessing for you. That is your guidance from the spirit realm. The sacred um, vision is that you are finally able to release any emotions related to someone letting you down, affecting you, hurting your ego, hurting your pride, taking your time, using you up, playing games with your love and your heart. You have learned. Many of you that have disconnected, you've learned. Now, who are you? Do you love you? How do you show it to yourself? Are you disciplined when it comes to love? I want to tell you that I know for a certainty many of you Scorpios are in a celibate situation right now. I know this. I love you for that. Good for you because you're holding up a standard now, what we call a mantle, so that the higher divine energies can actually physically transform you to being a goddess or a god energy. Are you ready for that? Remember what Tesla did with his sexual energy and power? He drew it within and he withheld and he used real tantric energy to ascend. His mind became sharp. Mm -hmm. Hello? Really amazing. Here we go. Although we know about power and sex. So the wisdom of the oracle is about getting a message. Scorpio, sending one or receiving one. Number 15. One is a new start. Five is a change. So you have a change and a new start. And you've got a message coming. This is why you need to release um, any kind of frustrations and angers. That may or may not be um, in your space because something's coming. And it's emotional. It's in the water, Scorpio. It's in the water. So this is what I, I have happening for you. Let me see if there's a message about relationship in that too for you. These are by Colette Baron reed Oh, look at Wisdom of the Oracle. If you drew one card a day for yourself, this would be the one you should draw for yourself. It comes with three separate messages. Four, actually four is it? Let me see. These are really, really, really good. If you're an advanced reader, you'll know what I mean. <clears throat> Terrell isn't everything. But then again, it is. Communication, a sign. Spirit sends you signs when you ask for them. When you believe, you will receive them. And will allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens. A logo on a truck, a song on a radio, 
Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction, Scorpios, and keep your ears open for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your, to your question. Today, your message is this. Spirit hears you, and the reply is favorable. You can expect someone to favor you with positive messages in a relationship. Good news is coming. Uh, as far as prosperity, you are on target with the purpose and your passion, coming into alignment with your destiny. And Spirit wants you to know that you're on the right track. Expect a call, a new opportunity, or a message from an old friend or a business contact. Lead you closer to your dreams and greatest desires. So Spirit is in fact listening to you. Are you refusing to acknowledge that sign, the signs because you want things as you want them? As far as protection goes, Scorpio, red flags are not pretty decorations for you to admire. They're warning you for a reason. If something doesn't sit right with you, trouble could be hiding in the bushes. So don't ignore the signs. Spirit always has your best interests at heart and will draw your attention to what you're overlooking. So keep your eyes open on it. And remember that sometimes it has to do with this holding a energy of that shit's never going to happen again, of course. But it's how you're holding the energy. Love oracles for Scorpio, please, at this time. Timeless reading at the end of May, please. Spirit, universe. They told me to do these readings as May, June. And that's only because of who I am. And because I'm overcoming a serious illness. And so, well, serious illness and a cold. <laughs> there you go, my darling loves. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What is the love oracle for my Scorpios? There it is. Look inside yourself, Scorps. Examine what is causing you to feel the way that you do. Has to do with that forgiveness. Give me another place for Scorpio. There it is. Two more. Your reading is about a sacred union. Honor the place and one another where you are eternal souls. For there you will find true bliss. Okay. Maybe someone will be honoring you with a message. And here's what they gave you too. Surprisingly, <clears throat> emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment and forgive. Look inside yourself. This is a message for your healing, for your soul, Scorpio. I see that very, very clearly, okay? It has to do with the sacred union. Okay, this is going to be the, the uh, tarot for your significant person, past, present, or future. And this is yours, Scorpio. Oh, tell me about love and Scorpio. Where are they right now? Tell me about Scorpio in love. How does Scorpio view love at this moment? Oh, Scorpio, someone rising in. How's Scorpio looking at love right now? Scorpio in love. Scorpio in love. Ten of, coins, ten of cups. You still believe in love, okay? Your dreams have been dashed. It actually came out in reverse, but I'm pulling it upright. And that's because you've already experienced love. You are love. You're containers of love and emotion. They're just saying contain your emotion, right? So you are that. And how do you, what are you, what's on their mind? Wow. Scorpio, this is what's on your mind. You may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're very concise at this moment, protecting your energy, your thoughts, working on getting the, the doves of peace around this queen. Uh, tells me that she's she's using her common sense. She's using her conversations. She's using her her strict protection of her energy to make sure that she's not affected by other people's energy. And no matter whether she's in a sacred union or not, she's highly protecting her soul. All right? And that's good. If you want to communicate with the queen, you better step up. You better tell her exactly what you feel. You better tell her exactly what you intend because she ain't fucking around with you. She ain't playing with you. 
Her goal is to be happy. And if you don't make a Scorpio happy, she's going in this energy and she says, enough. I'm moving forward. I, I want you to meet me spiritually. I want you to meet me spiritually where I'm at. I'm looking for that union, that sacred sexual union, not a third party. And if I build with you, Scorpio says, you better be prepared to stay and work on this. This is the three of coins. This is somebody who really wants to build a family, really wants to build something for themselves and have a solid, serious relationship. No third parties. So right now I see you in this place, okay? And I can understand it 100%. There you are. Let's put you on the side and look at who you're dealing with. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, lovers. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Scorpio, lovers. Hey, June, let's see what shows up. Scorpio, lovers. The dominant love energies for Scorpios. Ooh, this is beautiful, beautiful, solids. You guys are becoming solid. And those of you who are not and are in open relationships, I'm sorry. You got what's coming to you. You made a mistake. It's one thing to love and be unconditional. It's another thing to share partners consistently. Have fun. Not everybody's into that. Have fun. No, no, I'm not knocking you, but I just don't, I don't know how you can't get sexually transmitted diseases uh, unless you're wrapping it up. So wrap it up, masculine Scorpios and feminine Scorpios. If you're, if you're dancing around in different groups, that's your bag. Cool. That's how you love. You can love that way. However, when sexuality isn't concerned for a high priestess, all these damn secrets, all this damn sharing, right? Power. You're actually giving away your power. Go ahead. It's not good for you. Just saying. Every time you have intimate relations, you give away power. What power are you giving away, Scorpio? I want you to examine that clearly, my loves. Your partner is a king of cups in reverse. This is someone who has pull, pulled back their love from you. And they are they don't have any patience at this moment. Temperance is in reverse. Could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, temperance is Sagittarius. They're both in reverse. Tell me about this person. Why are they in reverse? They know something. They're also wielding a sword. Something happened. Why is, is this a past, present, future person? Yes. And they're spying like a madman on you. They're, they had this truth that they spoke to you, Scorpio. They said something in haste. And it might have been the truth, but they lost their fucking temper. They laid out something to you that they should not have done in the way that they did it. I am so sorry, but they've, there's some kind of acknowledgement here, and they're acknowledging something they did. Now, this is past. This is the spy. And they're just watching, watching, watching. What the hell does the spy want? They want to come off the hangman and come and do something about this. What? Queen of Cups. Talk to you. Show empathy to you. What? Do you, what? Give me their motive. No, nope. fuck that. They want to bring toxic shit back to you. So if you're in involved in a water sign um, that um, is toxic and you know it, bye, biatch. You've let that go. I think you've let that go. I'm absolutely certain you did, Scorpio. Take a deep breath, my Scorpios. Take a deep breath right now. That devil showed up. That fucking addicted, sexually addicted, I can't get enough of you shit. Clear it, spirit. Clear Scorpio's energy. Give him freedom from that devil, please. Freedom. I want to tell you that angels love the bells, but dark energies do not. Why do you think my apartment's loaded with chimes? And I'm going to get more because I'm a sound journeyman. Scorpio. Let's talk about new love for you babies. Right? And, and I'm not going to use this deck. I'm talking to Scorpio, right? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's talk about new love coming your way. New energy. It's coming to love to, to Scorpio in love to bring them some harmony, some commitment, some growth, some happiness, some passion, 
some desire to go forward desire to commit who's going to bring forth the desire to commit in our scorpios please bring it forward spirit i thank you for it scorpio we love you so much they said that on the spirit guides we love you because you're strong you're strong don't be stubborn though forgive okay who's coming to scorpio with love Five of Wands, Chariot in Reverse, Ace of Swords. You know what? Could this still be the past person? What is going on with this past person? Why is this person showing up? They feel left out in the cold. They feel like they've been trying to get uh, gather up the strength to come forward and get back with you. Why is this person wanting to do this? Oh, shit. Ten of Swords is in reverse, and Seven of Cups is in reverse. They realize that they cannot live without you no matter what happened in the past. This is what I'm getting for this person. It could be a Leo. Seven of Wands, you've got your defenses up. Um, they don't feel like they got justice in a situation. Um, they love you. But this is new love, Scorpio. Uh they're coming out of the I don't give a shit stage. And, of course, Page of Cups in reverse. So, Scorpio, the past person wants, 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 but they're not going to come forward and bring it to you. You have new love coming, and I'm willing to accept that. Tell me about this new love spirit for Scorpio. Tell me about this new love for Scorpio. Have they met them yet? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. <clears throat> You're still, here's your Ten of Cups in reverse. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, love. This is still not here yet. I still don't have my wish fulfillment. I'm still not happy yet. Ace of Pentacles comes out as the gift from God. An offer for a relationship. Something solid. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is sincerely solid. This is a gift from the divine. Please take it, Scorpio. However, it's in reverse. Not yet. I hear the Spirit say, not yet. You're about to get your Three of Pentacles, though. Look at the common common denominators between your energy and this energy, right? This new person coming. You have the Ten of, you have the ten of Cups. That's your wish. You're protecting it very, very carefully. You have the Three of Coins as your outcome. This person has the Ace of Cups, which is brand new relationship, and they have the Ten of Cups in reverse because I haven't met you yet. And they want this. So there's someone who wants a relationship with you. That's exactly what I see. My Scorps, let's take a look at the Romance Angels. I am doing private readings. If you'd like a personal reading, you may get it by going to my website, robinsrealmreadings.net. And, oh, look at there, Scorpio. Pay attention to red flags. You're being cautioned about something. And it is about trust. So there may be an issue you can't trust. Give me another, please. Let go of control issues. You have a trust issue that needs to be settled so you can get your Ten of Cups. Let's see what the outcome is on the, the Moonology deck for Scorpio loves. Love you guys so much. I know you're doing all right. Time to take action, Scorpio. This came out prior to reading for you. So there's something you need to do and get busy on and speak your truth, Queen of Swords. Be very specific and step out of your comfort zone for something. North Node Energy is Sagittarius. It's also a time to make sure that you forgive and heal yourself. Because forgiveness isn't for them. It's for you. Right? And those of you who love the Lord, I'm going to read you a message. If you don't, just don't worry about it. It's for somebody. Somebody's crying out for a word from God. And I'm going to give it to you. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Psalms 32, 7, written by Solomon, the wisest man to have ever lived, they said. Look at this woman. This is you, Scorpio. For the most part, those of you who have pulled back and are claiming your own life and your own space, after going through a traumatic event with someone or going through round and round with somebody for a long time, 
you've had you have to heal and there you go scorpio so um let me see about this new love do we have a timeline for this sacred union those want to come out those want to come out holy shit you ready ha wow timeline oh my god oh my god holy shit scorpio look at this you make of it what you will six of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn divine reciprocity giving back equally sharing making sure that a relationship is balanced and grounded in and stable enough to sustain itself with a two of cups cancer scorpio pisces a soulmate twin flame i see you you see me we're on the same page emotionally someone from the past may be coming back Someone may be bringing forth love messages for you. I'm sending emotional mem memories to you. You're probably there. This could be another Scorpio that you know. Um, death transformation is here. Changing of the situation. You're thinking about it, remembering it. And there's passion involved. This could be a Leo, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or they could have it in their chart. So it looks like passion. But also healing. And putting down burdens and picking up a uh, an emotional thing two of cups the queen of wands queen of cups is here twice to bring back the two of cups to you there's your reading scorpio i'll leave it here uh, if you want a private reading hook up with me i love you namaste